folks. Well, geek chic is in, there is no doubt about that. But behind the thick framed glasses could lie the secret to health, wealth, and happiness. So, big question Are you a geek? Here to help me find out if I am a geek, author and podcaster Stefan Spencer. So, Stefan, you got a quiz for me. It's going to tell me if I'm a geek or not. Is that right? So, Tom Hanks is such a space geek. He's the ultimate space geek. That's true. Leonardo DiCaprio is a Star Wars geek. He has so many Star Wars collectibles. He had to donate them to charity. They were taking up so much space <laughs> in his house. And of course, Rosario Dawson is a Star Trek geek, a Trekkie. Uh -huh. So people are so proud these days to be geeks. In fact, 87% of the general population say they do not sneak their geek. They're not mm -hmm. hiding potentially yeah. embarrassing passions or interests. Yeah, Britney sure doesn't. She's <laughs> a big Star Wars fan. I'll tell you that much. So let's go ahead and take the yeah, quiz and do find it. out, are I'm you ready. a geek? Let's try it. Let's okay, do it. Okay, so question one. Okay. Okay. Do you, like Leonardo DiCaprio, take pride in your geek toys? Yes. Question two, do you have more than 50 apps installed in your phone? Kinda. That'll make you a tech geek. Kind of. Question three, do you own a drone? No. <laughs> Question four, do you, is your music, movie, video game, book, or comic book collection a source of pride? Yes. Question five, have you ever worn character clothing except on Halloween, including pajamas? Geek. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay. Question six, have you ever been to Comic-Con, VidCon, or WonderCon? Yes. And final question, have you ever taught yourself an artificial language like Klingon or Elvish? No, that I have not. That I have not. So maybe I'm like maybe a 50-50 on yeah, those questions. Yeah, so one yes and you're possibly geek. Two yeses, you're probably geek. Three or more yeses and you are okay. definitely a geek. I am definitely geek. a geek. All right. Okay, so now we know you're a geek. Right. Let's now turn you into, transform you into the ultimate geek Great. with these geek gadgets and toys, okay. including the Muse Meditation Helper. So what is this? So, so that has a like matching this? app. And it allows you to modify your brainwave states and get into okay. a deeper state of meditation. Like That's this? That's pretty cool, yes. Is, do perfect. I do it like that? Okay. This is the Healby Gobi Health Tracker. Wear that on your wrist. Okay. This is the Zio Sleep Tracker. Uh-huh. Where, where do I put that? What is, well, what just you, what? maybe set that one down and put this one, slap this on your forehead. That's a, that's a really good look for nighttime. And uh, I've got also, this is the Spire. It's a mindfulness and breathing app or uh, tracker. And then finally, I have with me the Iron Man 3 costume. Oh, I'm going to be wearing at Comic Con. <laughs> oh, you, so you've already got this set for Comic Con. Yep. How do I put this? Is this like this? No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like that. Perfect. And then stick that on your head. This is not protective gear. There is a warning. Oh, it's, so I can't really fly in this. You do not and wear this on a motorcycle. I can't. Okay. So don't wear this on a motorcycle. Okay. So now as I do this, tell me how I can optimize my inner geek. Yeah. So I have the geek formula. G, gratitude. When I interviewed Harville Hendricks on the Optimized Geek podcast, he said the most important thing for your relationship, that's a great look, by the way, is to express three things that you appreciate about your significant other every single day. He's been doing it for the last 18 years, hasn't missed a day yet. I've been doing it with my fiance for the last two months. It's made a big impact mm -hmm. already. E, establish habits, positive habits like gratitude and being mindful and doing uh, yoga practice. Mm -hmm. Establishing habits and keeping them is a great way to optimize your inner geek. The next E, examine everything. Examine your thoughts. Byron Katie told me to question every single one of your thoughts because a lot of times your thoughts aren't even true. Mm -hmm. And then finally, K, knowledge is power. Keep learning. A big reason why I have my podcast, it, just interviewing all these New York Times bestselling authors and world experts, sharing this information with the world is so that I can have the knowledge for myself. Yeah. I know if I apply that knowledge, I'll be a better person. I hope all my listeners do the same. And so that's how you optimize your inner geek. And just very quickly, Stefan, where do we find you online? Yes, yeah, so subscribe to my podcast, TheOptimizedGeek.com. There you go. Stephen Spencer, thank you so much. Thank you for turning me into Iron Man. Folks, more information, head over to Casa.com. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>